Oh man, the extra point block heard round the world. It's blocked! It is blocked! It is blocked! Hey guys, welcome in, and man, what a game. We had Florida State Seminoles and the LSU Tigers. And this game lived up to the hype. It went literally down to the wire, down to the last play of the game. Instant classic. It was amazing. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, what can I say? Florida State was the better team the whole game, pretty much. And until the end, LSU was like, kind of just didn't bring the energy. They were just kind of going through the motions most of the game. And then finally in the fourth or like late third quarter in the end of the fourth quarter, they finally picked it up, had a sense of urgency and got things moving. And um, LSU had two fumbles, two muffed punts that uh, Florida State recovered. And it looked like on the second one, especially that uh, FSU was going to get the win because they recovered the muff punt. They were in LSU territory late th uh, fourth quarter and they just ran the ball, got a couple, uh, got it all the way down to the one yard line. And it was like, all right, LSU's just going to punch it in there. At this point, they were up seven and they were just going to punch it in, go up by 14, game over, right? Well, then LSU, for some reason, Jordan Travis, uh, uh, for some reason, LSU runs a pitch, a pitch play. So Jordan Travis pitches the ball to Ward. And it's a bad pitch, and they fumble, and FSU fumbles it right on the goal line and turns it over, and LSU recovered. So LSU had 99 yards to go with, like, under a minute to play or something like that. And anyway, they got it all the way down to the one-yard line with one second left in regulation. And what do you know? They score a touchdown, a nice pass by Daniels, and... It's a one-point game with no time left. So, pending extra point, we're going to overtime. All LS, LSU has to do is kick it up and good. And what do you know, baby? My Florida State Seminoles, they blocked the extra point. It was So, earlier in the game, they blocked a field goal. So, you kind of had that feeling like, oh, could they do it again? Could they do it again? No way, no way. And what do you know? They freaking blocked it. Blocked the extra point. And FSU wins by one point, baby. This is the first time since 2016 FSU has been 2-0, and which is crazy to think. Like, the Seminoles have been down for a few years, like many years, actually. Like, it feels like it's been forever since they've been relevant. They almost always lose a season opener, you know, which they played last week against kind of a cupcake team. So it wasn't officially the opener. But, I mean, this, this was the opener, let's be honest. So... Uh, anyway, we always lose these games lately, so Florida State pulled it off 2-0. and They get a bye week, and then we get Louisville. So, I mean, we could be looking at 3-0 and and let the talk begin. Is FSU back? I mean, I don't know. I've Everybody, like, you read online, all the fans are like, FSU's back, baby, and blah, blah, blah. And then all the haters are like, not yet, dude. Like, LSU wasn't even that good. So I'm not ready to say they're back yet, but I mean, the hype is real now. The hype is there. Like FSU fans are already talking about the national, you know, level now. Like we could compete for, you know, and get to the playoff and all this stuff. So I don't know if we're there yet, but things are definitely looking good. And you could finally be happy about Florida State Seminoles. Mike Novell, the coach got this team playing good they played with energy they played with fire all night and it showed they were the better team man so there we go fsu wins by one point 24 to 23 seminoles let's go Knowles. we had jordan travis 20 of 32 for 260 yards and two passing touchdowns and both of them went to ontario wilson who had seven catches 102 yards and the two touchdowns so, baby, I'm stoked for Seminoles. FSU football, baby. Is it back? I mean, I want to say yes, but we'll see. I'm loving it so far. 2-0. Let's go, Knowles.